the time tunachiuliza ni kitu gani kitakacho nitenganizi nitenganisha na huyu Mungu Bwana isasifiwe lakini tunasema kama ni mali hapana kama watoto hapana but there are things that are pulling us away yani Mungu anatunajaribu kuenda saidi ya Mungu lakini haya matendo yetu nayo yana full another side it is us now to examine ourselves tujue ni kitu gani hiki kama ni hasira omba Mungu kwa maana anasema yeye ni mwaminifu na anaweza mambo yote Bwana isasifiwe omba tu Mungu mwenyewe atafanya nini atakunehemia Bwana isasifiwe kwa maana unaona kama matendo amba yani Biblia inatuambia moyo ni mdanganyifu unaona Biblia ndiye anasema moyo it's a we have a deceitful heart yani moyo wetu inatudanganya sometimes ina, naweza sema hata kwenda church si lazima wewe unakaa tu nyumbani ama kuabudu si lazima unaona ni moyo inasema that's why god akaona ni vema a create something inaitwa soul that why that's why wanasema soul ndiye itakufanya nini itakuwa charged at the end at the yani siku za mwisho ni hiyo soul ita itahukumiwa bwana isasifiwe you cannot touch a soul but it is in us sometimes when you want to do things lakini unasikia there is a small voice inakwambia don't unaona usifanye hii kitu lakini mwili inakupeleka tu kwa sababu moyo imeamua tunaenda ama kitu una, unaweza sikia kitu inaenda ina hit moyo mara moja pap alafu now what comes out unasema ah mbona hii kitu kwa maana moyo it cannot haiezi beba hiyo uzito you have to release it but now think twice before unajua sometimes unakuta mtu ako in a dog wanamuuliza why did you do this anasema ni hasira but at that time hasira iko it's you now na hiyo fact bwana isasifiwe so moyo wetu tuulinde hata biblia nasema tulinde sana moyo kuliko vyote ambavyo tuko navyo ama ambavyo tunalinda bwana isasifiwe because somebody can just aim akuchafue na anakuja tu anakuhit tu na neno na wewe because you don't hauna hiyo yani hauna hauwezi i hold then you go and act uki act utakuja kuundua baadaye eh hey, nimekosa so let us ask god achunguze mioyo yetu kama there is something that is hidden in our heart that we can, we don't know maybe ni hasira maybe ni pride bwana isasifiwe such like things wacha tuachilie mungu afanye nini aingilie kati let us Read in Mark 7 verse 20. Amen. You know there are things zinaweza Biblia inatuambia kwamba yani dhambi haifanyiki tu hivi. Unajua sometimes wanakwambia ni heri kunyamaza bwana isasifiwe sometimes kuna kitu inaweza kuingia but now it does not wauna dhambi yoyote kwa kusikia utasikia tu lakini sasa how how you will try you will define that thing now ndio itafanya nini itafanyika itakuwa makosa bwana isasifiwe because hapa biblia inatuambia yani kitu yenye inaingia ndani mwetu si mbaya but ile itatoka bwana isasifiwe because sometimes unaweza sikia kitu ifanye nini ikukwaze na ikikwaza na uombe tu Mungu na kupea amani na inyamazike itakwaza lakini nao when you come out to start speaking and and yani to speculate kusema mambo hiyo ndio itaharibu bwana isasifiwe because hapa biblia inatuambia tunapoendelea inasema what comes from inside it is the one that defines a person bwana isasifiwe na hapa tunaona kama kuna thoughts mbaya fikira mbaya labda iko tu ndani mwako lakini mtu akisimama wewe fikira zako zinakwanga tu mbaya sasa huyu hata anasimama afanye nini unaona the more hiyo ndiye na kudefile lakini vitu zingine hakuna kuna vitu zingine unaweza sikia tu umeboeka na mtu ama kuna wickedness mtu a, Ukiona mtu anaendelea wewe sasa ni kutafuta down for ya huyu mtu. Unaona hiyo ndio ina, inafanya nini inakukosanisha na Mungu Bwana isasifiwe. Sometimes 
mtu akiwa na kitu unasema hiyo kitu ingekuwa yangu haimfai yeye why unaona vitu kama hizo zinapoingia ndani mwetu zikitoka zinafanya zinatidefine zina sisi bwana sasa sivi so let us speak to our hearts tuambie mungu tu au atuoshe tuwe safi ili tu ndio makosa iko but anatuambia yeye ni mwaminifu na tukitubu kila wakati yeye anatuosha sometimes tulikuwa tunaongea na shows tukiwa tu tunapiga story tukamwambia yenyewe there are things that inahitaji tu neema ya Mungu tukawachatiliana about story ya David ila alikuwa story ya Moses na kina Kora na Miriam paka tukaulizana kama si neema tu ya Mungu peke yake hii haiwezekani bwana isa sifika because tunaposoma hiyo story kama ya Moses Moses alikuwa a young boy whereby Miriam alikuwa sister yake amemlea anamuona but it came a time ya kwamba Moses anaenda kuoa akamuuliza sasa huyu mbona ameoa Rebecca na si wa uko wetu si afai kuoa huko wakasema kwani hata kama ni Mungu ndiye alimuongelesha mbona hajatuongelesha na sisi unaona hiyo tu peke yake Mungu alikasirika akasema why are these people questioning my my authority akamwambia Musa mtoe nje akamtoa nje kumtoa nje ya, ya tembo alipigwa ukoma bwana isa sifii sasa akashangaa ndio ana ni akaona akasema eh hey, Musa kuja utuombe kwa Mungu wako tunaangamia ndio sasa tena Mungu akakuwa warehema akafanya nini akamwambia Musa mtoe nje mfanye nini na akamponya kwa ajili ya nini hivyo thoughts unafikiria tu mtu na mchaji uweze ukajua why amefanya kitu kayo na hiyo yote inafanya nini ina emanate from the heart lakini moyo wetu ikiwa mzuri utafikiria mtu mabaya ukimuona ni dada ukimuona ni ndugu lakini when you allow your heart to be fed na to be yani to be filled with evil things hapo ndio naona sasa tutapigwa ukoma wa bure ama mambo yetu itaharibika kwa bure kwa sababu ya nini we are allowing our hearts to be yani filled with things that are not so let us ask god at samehe kwa maana moyo lazima utawaza lazima uta, utakuwa na mawazo yote na biblia inatuambia we don't hide anything from god god does not like a hypocrite unaweza niambia biblia i love you so much na kwa roho nasema i wish we milia ngikufa hata angeamka unaona that is hypocrisy and god is not after that so search your, let us search our hearts tukue straight nikiambia mtu i love you na mpenda na upendo wa Mungu lakini nisema aki mimi na mimi na mpenda lakini akisimama nasema sasa huyu ni nani ani afai hata sisi wote tunafaa mbele za Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe because biblia inasema he created he, he created us in our in his own image yani ukijiona kwa kio naona Mungu imagine alafu wewe who is you to discredit me na mimi ni mfano nafanana na Mungu usijitie doa tu kwa maana biblia inasema yeye atakuja kwa wale wanyovu wa mioyo bwana isa asifiwe sasa moyo wacha tuwe wanyovu wa mioyo ndio najua ni kazi ngumu but he has given us yani that grace to be hata naweza pita hivi nione mtu then naambia mungu nisamee tu sijaongea lakini nimewaza kwa moyo wangu mimi mwenyewe hata mtu anaweza shtuka milu nasema usamehewe nini nimemalizana juu nimewaza sijasema lakini moyo wangu umetia doa bwana isa asifiwe so in everything let us just ask god to search our hearts day and night because sometimes hata unaweza ona tu kitu kwa zitu hiyo obvious ushatenda dhambi so tuombe tu mungu wetu afanye nini aweze kutusamehea na tuendelee katika hii safari ya ukoko huku kuokoka si jambo rahisi biblia inatuambia tumetangaza vita sasa na shetani atatutafuta hata ndugu yako kama atashindwa kutoa mtu wa nje atatoa ndugu yako na kama atashindwa ndugu yako atakuamshia tu bibi yako ukiingia tu kwa nyumba hivi unaona tu majaribu ndio hivi kwa sababu nini those are just test let us not give up unajua mtu anafika mahali anasema nikifikiria kuokoka ni ni raha lakini nina usiache kwa maana those are test the more unapita the more Mungu anafanya nini anaendelea ku kuanoint Bwana isasifiwe in each and everything leo tu 
Nilisema sita preach, we shall just discuss. Let us ask God to search our hearts. Na atuweke laini na yeye. Kwa maana anasema, yeye uh, atakuja tu yani anapendezwa na waabudua halisi. When you sing, sing from your heart. When you talk, talk from your heart. If you don't love, ask God. Like tulikuwa huko dispensary. There is a cha. Nilimwona tu first day nikamtukia tu. Nilienda chini nikauliza Mungu. Nikaomba. Nikasema hata hajawahi ongea mbele yangu. Why why do I why is my heart very heavy? Nikimuona nini? Niliomba tu Mungu na nikaomba na akanipa amani. Sasa makosa yake ilikuja tu ikajitokeza tu. Baka watu wakasema huku mtukia bure. Nikasema hiyo niliomba hata Mungu alishanisamehea na ninampenda. Bwana isasifiwe. So kitu kama hiyo sisi Biblia inasema sisi ni agods. Yaani tuko miungu ile midogo kwa sababu ametupa all dominion. Tu yani to rule over everything. So let our thoughts be right with God. Tuwaze mazuri, ukikuja kanisani penda mwenzako. Na akifanya kitu kama ikupendezi, mu approach. Enda tu muite dada. Hapa ilikuwa ifanye hivi kweli kwa upendo because Biblia inasema tulekebishane nini kwa upendo. Na if you don't have love pia atutampendeza Mungu. Tunakuwa tunatembea hii jani yenye inatupeleka noe. But when we have love, hata utaona hizi mikogoro hakuna. Kwenye mnatembea ni ndugu dada you hug yourself, yani mnapendana, mnasaidiana, mnabebeana mizigo. Hivyo ndio Mungu anapendezwa naye. Lakini hata tufanye nini? Hata tufanye nini? Na tukoze hiyo upendo, tukoze hiyo. Tumejaza mambo kwa mioyo yetu. Imagine hakuna mahali tunaenda. Ni heri tusemezane ukweli, tutengeneze njia. Yesu akija tusiweze kuacha. Na nikiwa niko in a wrong na umenotis, you know, Biblia inatuambia there is a way that seems to be right in the some someone's eyes. Lakini mbele ya Mungu ni ubatili. We ukiona just rush tell me mili ah ah unaenda vibaya. Nitarekebisha haraka. Kwa maana labda akili zangu zimeniambia ukienda hivi uko sawa. Kumbe nimepotoka na sijui. So don't hesitate to come and correct me. Wewe umewekwa hapo kwa ajili yangu. Mimi niko hapo kwa ajili yako. Ili tusaidiane tukaweze kuridhi huu falme wa mbingu. Lakini tukisema eh hey, wacha tunyamaze, agonge mwamba ndio tuone. Nikigonga it's you because Mungu alikunenea. Mukorect huko ni correct, ukaniacha. So it's you you will be charged together with me. Maybe hata mimi nitachajiwa kidogo kwa sababu wewe uliambiwa ungeniambia that one ndio ilifanya wakati wakati walituma mtumishi wa Mungu ila alituma ni neba alikuwa anaitwa na John John wakamwambia John enda ni neba nimeona dhambi za watu zimefika kwangu enda ukawaambie watubu yeye akasema waangamie na akasema nini naenda tarishishi lakini hakujua alikuwa na nini Ho, moyo wake ulikuwa na uzito fulani akasema hao watu wamewatenda dhambi wacha wafanye nini siyesi enda huko hawataisikiza but ange ange yani ange, ange mwito wa Mungu tunafanye bila aliambiwa huenda mambo ingekuwa rais lakini Mungu wetu ni wa huruma unaona alisababisha watu wengine wakapata hasara kwa nini kwa ajili yake so wewe unaweza sababisha watu wengine tupate hasara juu umenenewa na usemi. Sasa unaacha tu tunaenda tunaangamia Bwana isasifiwe. So tukisoma hii Biblia, let us analyze. Tujue ina inatusaidia kwa njia gani. Huyu alikuwa John. Sisi we are, maybe we can be Jonas of today. Let us go and na unaona bila aliweza kusafirishwa na hiyo nini? Samaki. Ikamtema ukule. Alipofika, alikuwa amevunjika moyo lakini akasema acha tu niseme maneno yenye nime nimeambiwa. Na alipo sema, imagine watu wote walienda in sack clothes wa kitubu. Imagine kama hangeenda, ni never ingeisha. So, mungu wetu ni wahuluma. Ukipewa kitu, please tell. Ukiona niko in a wrong or somebody is in a wrong, find it in your heart. Enda tu muongeleshe ili mwili wa kristu ukaweze kuendelea. Kwa na isasifu, mbarikio na hai. Amen.